Hey, my name is Adam Hooksema. I'm the co-founder of Projection Hub, where we help entrepreneurs create financial projections for uh, investors and lenders and, and internal planning. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through our uh, pitch deck graph charts and tables uh, generator tool and um, show you exactly how to use it. If you don't have the template, you can uh, grab that link down in the description of the video below uh, and we'll dive into how to use it. Okay, so the first thing you need to know as you fill out this uh, tool is that any um, cell that's highlighted in light blue is an assumption that you can change without breaking um, breaking an equation or breaking something in the template. Um, so you can put in your company name, start your last 12 months of revenue and uh, last month's revenue. And then as we come down here, so if you don't already have a set of projections, we've built out a little table here where you can basically create a simple set of projections. So you're going to put in your product or service line items, whether that line item is recurring revenue or, uh, or not. And then your first month of revenue projection. And then from there, we're just using growth rates. So we're saying a monthly growth rates for year one, two, three, four, and five. And that will then come down here and calculate a uh, projected revenue number for each of the next uh, 60 months. Now, uh, Let's say you already have a set of projections. Maybe you used one of our financial projection templates at Projection Hub and um, you've already got a full set of projections. You don't need to use this section up here to create your projections. Um, in that case, what you're going to want to do is copy over this section down here uh, with your projection numbers. I'm going to show you how to do that using our mobile app template as an example. So I'm going to come to our Input Revenue tab. <clears throat> And I'm just going to copy the, oops, I'm going to copy, I need to grab the first uh, 60 months here. So copy that, then come back over here. And I'm going to do right click and do a paste special and just paste the values only. So you'll see uh, we had no projections for the first three months. And then you can see the projection starting to kick in there. <clears throat> now, um, the other thing I would do is come back over here and grab the titles of the revenue line items. And I'm going to copy them up here in the top section. So we're going to paste special again and do values. <clears throat> now that's going to pipe that down here. And now, uh, for the subscription revenue, we know that is actually recurring revenue, so I'm going to change that to yes. And we've got ad revenue and in-app purchase revenue, which is not recurring. And now we actually don't need um, we don't need the projections for the rest of these, so I'm going to delete these <clears throat> as well as these, and that'll clear that out. Now for uh, cost of goods sold, um, we can do the same thing where we can use the percentage here to calculate cost of goods sold. And if we scroll over, we're going to see the calculated cost of goods sold based on those percentages. Um, or again, you could just grab cost of goods sold from your projection spreadsheet and overwrite that. And just make sure that you always do uh, paste special and just paste in the values only. And you can do, again, the same thing for operating expenses. So uh, copy and paste or use, use this blue tool above here to, um, to enter in your projections as you want. And then down here, we're going to put in our total amount invested uh, that we expect, total loan, and then uh, the way that you're going to use the startup funds. And again... <clears throat> If we're looking at our mobile app template, on the at-a-glance tab, you'll have this table here that is, um, you know, the same or very similar, um, and you can use to copy in your sources and uses of funds here. Um, and then once you've done that, uh, once you've entered all that in, then you're going to be able to see uh, your charts and graphs, and you can see, you know, the first few months, no revenue, and then revenue starts kicking in. We can see that by one year, three year, and five year, you can see what percentage is non-recurring versus recurring. 
<clears throat> and see our profitability graphs. See us reaching, getting close to that break-even level in year one, and so on. Um, so that is really the the simple, fast way to use this tool to create uh, your graphs and charts. Uh, and again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out at support at projectionhub.com. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kyle Fawcett, <clears throat> and I'm the director of marketing at Projection Hub. Uh, and this video is going to be kind of a part two follow-up to our new charts and graphs um, kind of visualization tool. So um, Adam had already kind of demonstrated how to input the data um, and then what kind of charts and graphs that that's going to produce across these tabs. And in just a few minutes, I'm going to show some very basic instructions on to, um, how to create additional charts, um, how to um, customize um, colors and fonts and themes even, and then how you can extract those charts so you can use them in your pitch decks or wherever you'd like to use them. So this is going to be a very basic rundown, um, and I'm going to show you how to do that here in our Excel, Excel file. So. So first here you can see I'm just on our break even in use of funds chart. So we've got a couple of pie charts showing the use of funds on break even. So um, first thing I'm going to show you how to do would be if you wanted to make a new chart. So there are a lot of charts in here. We've There's about 100 um, across all these tabs. So there's a lot, but maybe there is a type of chart you'd like that you don't see in here. So, um, you know, two ways to go about this. One, you know, we have a set data input source here. So if the chart you're trying to make utilizes this data here, then go ahead and, you know, you can wherever you'd like to, you can create, you know, a new chart by doing the, the insert, you know, um, tab here, you got all these charts you can get started with. So, you know, if you want to make a um, 2D line charts, whatever it is, so you can go about that way. I'm not going to show you how to make charts. It's kind of a, a different video, I'd imagine, but that you could go about doing that way, but maybe you want a pie chart, you just want it to be, to look a little different. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this one, just paste it over here. It's gonna keep all of the same information. Um, then what I can do is either I can right click here and um, you know I can format the chart area, I can change the chart type. You also have this chart design tab up here, which you can do a lot of the same thing. So let's say I want to change the chart type completely. So we have some other pie chart options you can see here, um, you know, we can change it to a completely different chart type as long as the data set is still compatible. So you can see like, like a tree map, you know, it's not gonna be able to turn that into it because that uses a different um, type of data source and a data range. So let's say we wanted to switch it to a column chart and you know, maybe you want that to be like a little bit 3D or something like that. And I could choose that and it's gonna change that here. So that's a really quick example. Um, you know, there's a lot of resources out there that show how to go in depth on actually making custom um, different charts. Um, the other quick thing I wanted to mention on this is there are um, a couple ways you can get to doing this. One, you know, you see, let me move myself a little bit here. You see this little plus sign. This is going to give you some of these really quick axis chart elements. So you can turn axis labels on and off. You can Take the labels off you can take the grid lines out you can add the legend um, you can do a few of those different things which are important to a lot of people um, you can also accomplish that by you know coming to this format tab here um, or uh, let's see here sometimes it wants to pop up and sometimes it doesn't you could format the, you'll get this over here you can do a lot of those this and this can be more of like a visual effects colors borders that kind so that's change one, or you know, kind of one basic modification I wanted to show you. Um, the second I wanted to show you was grid lines. So you can see on these tabs, we have no grid lines in the background. That's a really easy thing to do. It's just on this view tab and we have grid lines clicked off. So you can't see all those typical Excel cell lines that you would see normally. Um, and let's see here. So also you can see here, if I click onto this, you can take um, the border on and off on these charts as well. So if you don't like that line, um, you could do it that way. Um, another thing that I think can be important, you could do this inside or outside of Excel, but sometimes people would like to add a little bit of additional annotation to their um, charts. So what I would typically do is go to this insert, insert tab. You can throw on text boxes right here if I want to make that part of it. 
um, you know, I could say special note here. And then you can customize these text box text boxes just like you would any shape. You know, I can make this transparent, I can change the font, uh, I can increase the weight size. Um, so you can, you can edit this here. Uh, like I mentioned, you know, we can format this text box here. We can take out the fill. You know, we can change the color of that text. Uh, that's actually on the line itself, which that's not super helpful in this example. But um, just like, like you would, you know, you can change this to whatever you'd like it to be, mess around with that, um, leave it on here. So um, one really cool thing I wanted to demonstrate is so obviously there are a lot of charts and graphs on here, um, and maybe you want to use a lot of them, or you at least want them to all look maybe on brand or something similar. <clears throat> now, you can change any individual chart. Um, you know, I, I'd mentioned, um, you know, you can, you can basically edit individual colors in this chart design over here. We say see change colors. That's going to change just this one. Um, you can make custom ones, you know, you can change the way it looks a little bit with some of these quick styles over here. You can get really custom with the, the files, but maybe you want every single thing in this Excel document to look on brand. So you can go to this page layout tab and over here, we've got these, this little themes section. So a few things you can do here, you can go ahead and change from preset every single, you know, that's going to change every page. So you can see it's going to go through and make those changes. You can do the same thing with font. Um, you can customize font, you know, if you want these two, the heading and the body to look different from each other, which might be important to you. But one drawback I will mention for Microsoft uh, Excel is that there's not a ton of options here. You might be able to pull them out of a Microsoft store, but you know, it's got your basic ones in here, but there's not going to be tons and tons of options. So maybe we wanted Arial Black on all of these. And, Zoom in a bit so you can see what's happening. Um, but, and you can even do effects here, you know, if you want to add some of these special extra things. But one thing I wanted to demonstrate that I think is really cool is say you have a PowerPoint or a slide deck already that has a design theme that you really like. You can actually be, especially if it's an Excel or not an Excel and PowerPoint, because that's a Microsoft suite product, um, they're actually compatible with each other. So you could browse, you can go and actually save theme that is a file type, Microsoft Office theme. Um, you can download themes um, off of different marketplaces on the internet. You can, you can just search for, you know, pitch deck or slide deck themes or PowerPoint themes. And you can save those and then you can actually upload that theme. And now all of a sudden, you know, all of your charts are gonna look exact same color scheme, same fonts, um, as your pitch deck. So I think that that's a really cool thing that you can do via Excel. So now the very last thing that I think is important to show you in this, this quick tutorial on how to take our hundred plus charts tool and make even more or make them customized for your specific brand is how to extract these, you know, how you're actually going to use them. Um, two things I'm going to show you one pretty simple, say, I want this pie chart, right click, save as picture, boom, save that to my computer. It's going to be can say it's going to be as a, as a PNG. So, you know, like transparent overlay, all that good stuff. Good to go. Um, second thing on here, we have kind of these income statement tabs, you know, it's, these colors are, so these aren't exactly charts. You know, these are little tables that we've built in here. Um, if you want to be able to extract these, what I would recommend doing is one, you know, zoom in however you want. Now every, especially if you're using a Microsoft computer, I think Mac has a similar thing. I actually go ahead and use snipping tool, which is a nifty little tool. Say I wanna grab this chart right here, snipping tool, boom. Grab that, copy and paste as an image, and I'm on my way using that information. So it's not quite as um, handy, you know, as right click saving it out as as uh, PNG, and to be honest with you, there might be an, a better way to get a set of data like this out of Excel into an image that's really easy to use. Um, I used to snipping tool, grab a screenshot of those, and that's how you grab those things. So hopefully um, this was helpful. 
uh, to see. Um, I, there's a lot more detail we could go into and you could research around, but that's how you can get a little bit extra out of this tool. Um, that helps. Thank you.